Our target is the Marmota. Sink it at all costs. Squad 7, move out! Ah, oh, man. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. YouTube is funny. I mean, we have social rejects complaining about where are the real gamers at? Not even realizing that I am more of a gamer than the bulk of all of you clowns combined, as already proven. Understand your views and opinions aren't credible because, well, you aren't credible. Rookies aren't credible. Experience is credible. And who here but a few owns more, has played more, and has played longer than me? So, let's talk about the PlayStation experience for a bit. I mean, it was good. Um... Sony has been showing and offering much better than what the competition is. I mean, Yakuza 5 for the West, baby, but it's still not enough to get me to go out and buy a PlayStation 4 or really any other console at this time. If I was going to rant about anything, though, in particular, I would definitely rant about The Witcher 3 being delayed again. After it was delayed again. First to February and now to May. This game better come out amazing and better come out perfectly optimized with no issues so the topic of today's video today amiibos i mean oh my god amiibos video game happy meals people you nintendo fans you're killing me you are absolutely killing me you complain about dlc but then again you spend fifteen dollars on glorified video game Happy Meal toys. $15 for a scannable e-reader or slash memory card in the form of a Happy Meal. If you're above the age of 12, or better yet, you're a grown-ass man, you, oh my god, you need to feel ashamed. You need to feel ashamed of yourself and for what you're doing to the video game industry. You're complaining about DLC and the price of video games being too high. Yet you spend $15 on the equivalent of a video game Happy Meal. Hell, I've seen clowns like Furious Fanboy upwards of $100, $120 on these goddamn Happy Meal toys for video games. Do you know what you can do with $15 in the realm of video games? Go on to Steam. Go on to uh, Green Man Gaming. Go to CityKeyPrices.com. Let me know what you can do with $15 on one of those websites because I guarantee you it involves actually playing a game instead of buying a Happy Meal. God damn. This is what the great Nintendo has been reduced to people. No longer are they at the forefront of game development. No longer are they the pioneers of gaming. But now they're at the front of making Happy Meals, copies of Skylanders for grown ass men and man children. 